Hi, I'm Kev from SonsOfCane.com. This week's video, we're going to look at the pistol grip. As with me as usual, is Chris. Hi Chris. Hi Kev. What we'll be doing is how to get your hand on the cane when you're in, not in quite in ready for your position of attack. Don't forget to subscribe for videos each week and push the notification bell which will give you an email when we post new content. New content is posted on the Wednesday and the Saturday. We've done a video on grip changes and how to manipulate the cane to suit your environment, your situation. But quite often when you're using both hands, I tend to hook the cane either on my elbow or you might have seen me, I, I flip it over my shoulder sometimes. On here, it might be you using a cash point or ATM, you might be talking to somebody or carrying something. But what if you need to cane in a hurry? Now, our friend Gary taught us this, and hopefully he will be doing some more work with us soon. But we call this the pistol grip. If I need to manipulate my cane quickly, what I'm going to do is grab my cane like I'm drawing a pistol from a, from a waist holster. So I'm allowing the cane to drop down my arm, and then I'm manipulating the cane so I've got it ready. So it literally looks like you're doing a fast draw on a pistol. So I may be talking to somebody, something's going on, I'm just allowing it to drop and then I've got a grip on the cane. If you notice I've kept it on the outside. If the cane is on the inside and I try that, it can be a little bit fiddly. So whenever I hook my cane over my elbow, I always put it on the outside so I know I've got a comfortable grip. And as with all things with a cane, do it on both sides. We've done a Tashi Walla video. We do the same with this. So we can step back, step forward, go to left and right. Practice the angles. You don't know where the attack is coming from. But the next thing you want to think about is, I've got the cane. There's my aggressor. What am I going to do next? So this is going to be my aggressor. So... Quite lucky, he's face on. So what I like to do with this is step back, because this gives me a little bit of distance and I've got room to move the cane. From here, I've got a nice poke. I can do the bayonet strike. I can swing it round. If I step forward into it, I'm, I've closed that distance. I may be able to flick his groin, or maybe attack his knee. If I'm feeling confident, I can strike that with accuracy in a pressure situation. So what I'm going to do is step back, the pad is there, I can drive it in, I can do whatever I need to do, and then I can change my grips. As you know, we can use the cane long range, medium range, and short range. But I like to create my own range. So if it is in close, I can drive in back, step back, I've got plenty of distance now. One of my tricks, what I like to do, which I've used on several occasions, I bring the cane up high. And in his eyes and in his brain, he's thinking, he's going to hit me in the head with this because this is high. But I bring it down low. I always go for leg strikes. But the instinct, the flinch instinct, is to go protect the head. And they've just opened up all of this area to strike. I like to strike low, strike the leg. It's recoverable rather than striking the head or the torso. It's going to be some serious damage. So practice this. I walk along the road and I'm walking, I'm doing this, I'm stepping back, I've got a target and then I can swing, I can do what I need to do. Even stepping back from here, I can then do a clearance swing. So with the pistol grip, practice this. And don't forget, once I'm here, I've got good distance, I can get my CWA in, the cane of wood pass. Look at the pistol grip for a wheelchair user. You may be in this position, but when you start to bring it down, the cane drops. So if we look at how I usually sit from here, I've got a push-pull technique that brings me into a strike position. If my hands are here, I can come under the crook and I'm ready to start poking away. So although the pistol grip is quite good, I haven't actually got the exact mechanics that Chris can use when he's standing. So you're looking at exactly where your cane's gonna be positioned and what you wanna be able to do is just bring it up quickly, 
get to one or two any grab to strike through from there. If they're coming in, you can actually put it back and turn. Thanks for watching this, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up. Drop us a line down below. Let us know what you think. As always, if you haven't done so already, smash the subscribe button, ring the bell, free the fifth.